Take to the skies of deep space above the Ark with the UNSC Hornet Recon, the brand new iteration of this classic vehicle from Halo Mega, and such an upgrade compared to the previous model, definitely. There were some really well fleshed out old school Hornets from Halo Mega, blocks and constructs, but this one, this actually made me realize how much the previous one was missing, which is crazy because I thought the previous Hornet was great. This is such a well, I'm gonna say it again, fleshed out, like this has everything you could want and is really, really realistic. Like when you compare this to the in-game models, it's crazy how similar they are. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. I thought I'd try something a little different today and have this Hornet suspended in the air, as it should be, you know, as it is on a mission. And it shows off the figures really nicely in this method. We have got Sergeant Stacker and an ODST. And let me tell you, these are two of the most highly detailed figures in recent memory. And they come with one of the most highly detailed vehicles in memory. This Hornet is exceptional. There is a sort of mixed bag in the collecting community, whether people like metallic green or basic green. Some say metallic green is not, you know, canonical. I personally really love it, and this showcases the very best of the metallic green era we've seen with Mega Constructs. I think it began again. Actually, the uh, the previous Hornet in this series was metallic green, but I mean, they really started ramping up the metallic alongside the release of Halo Infinite with the Pelican Inbound and the Warthog Rally, the Recon Getaway. They were all that gorgeous green, and this matches it perfectly and oh my goodness like it looks so good man it like that uh, that odst i am in love with we're gonna start with the figures as always would you look at that that is a gorgeous odst so this is a different kind of review style i know i'm in a very bright garden the colors might not be the easiest to see but you can you can really make out quite clearly how much detail has gone into this ODST. I am such a massive fan of any time Mega uses camo printing. They've had some really good examples in the past and quite a lot of ODSTs to be fair and this one sets the bar really high. First of all we've got this light grey armor. It runs across a black jumpsuit. For the arms we have a half black and camouflage divide and that camo runs uh, more or less along half of the limb and then on the legs we have a black jumpsuit with the camo on top and gray secondary wow what a nice like look at this look at this can you even believe this is you know a toy like can you believe it's this size it looks absolutely exceptional that metallic blue visor complements everything nicely as does the little red highlights on his shoulders and i've been told this is actually a very lore accurate game accurate odst which i'm happy to hear shout out to the people who love this stuff to be really accurate i'm not quite in that uh ballpark and one of my friends jonathan bought something like 40 grunts just to switch out the masks with 40 other grunts i'm not like that but hey you do you, absolutely. I'm uh, I'm just going to enjoy this ODST for what it is. It comes with a battle rifle that complements its armor perfectly, and the new ODST backpack, first introduced in the ODST Hive Exterminators, and also coming in the new drop pods. I think in a lot of traditional $30 sets, it wouldn't be a surprise if we only had one figure, but we have a second, or maybe this is the first figure, maybe this is the main one. This is so nice. Oh yeah! Look at that. Man, your ODST is in the name of the set, so I guess the ODST is the main guy. Oh, my fault! This is Sergeant Stacker. We've never got an official Sergeant Stacker before, and I gotta say, it does not disappoint. This is a really nice figure. He's got a very small UNSC print on his cap and lovely sort of khaki prints that runs along his, or at least the pelvis and the top of his legs, the bottom of his arms. There's a lot of different colors mixed together here, similar to the ODST and I gotta say I really like it. Comes with a silver magnum that complements some of the pieces of the Hornet and this green more matches a couple of the UNSC figures we've got recently, namely the one in the Universe Series 2 blind bags, that marine, he goes very nicely with them and also with the new marines coming in the elephant sand nest. This is a really nice figure but it's not all fun and games. Oh dear. Oh no, I think I, oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> what did they do to my baby? This, um, 
It's not a good look for your Sergeant Stacker. I don't know what the Covenant did to you. One thing Mega has definitely come a long way with in the past few years is the facial expressions of their head molds. Way better than they used to be, way more detail. I mean, all in all, for, for a $30 set, I, I don't know how you could get two nicer figures. They go hand in hand perfectly. They're a great team and they look awesome flying this Hornet. So let's talk about the Hornet. So there is so much good to be said about this Hornet and my camera just absolutely loves it. Like this looks so nice in the sun. I might have to find some permanent way of uh, stringing it from my bedroom because it looks great like this. I think one feature that really took me by surprise is this little laser guided missile system at the front. It is so detailed. Like even when building this, the amount of pieces that go into it is kind of wild. There's a lot of great printed detailing as can be expected from a mega build now and a lot of fans will really enjoy the printed cockpit inside. Hornet kind of just dancing around in the background there, he vibing. The cockpit closes and secures really nicely, it's quite airtight. I heard some people had issues attaching it, I had absolutely zero issue whatsoever. These chain guns are really nice on the top, rotate round. There is a slightly, I mean, I don't know why it's a controversial feature. People don't really seem to like play features. Now let me tell you something, let me give you a little news flash. The majority of sets that sell for Halo Mega are to kids. I know you don't like to hear that because I know you like to feel like because the collectors buy 10 of each set, they buy the majority. Kids will always outsell collectors. Like that's just how it is. Kids buy lots of stuff. This comes with a play feature. Some people don't like it. I literally could not care less. It's a little stick here and when you wiggle it, the turbines will turn. See, that's just classy in my opinion. That's just good, honest fun. Here's the thing, you don't like play features? I guess you don't like having fun, eh? I mean, pretty much everywhere you look, it, there's just so many smart design features on this thing and so many little pieces that just look like they belong in a actual game like this looks like it has a proper function some kind of fuel injection or pistons go up to be able to rotate this fin and I'll tell you what I'm really happy about with this set there is a really subtle place for the ODST to hang on to just this little handle there and it just works really nicely it's subtle it's not in your face and my goodness if you are holding on to the side of a hornet you have some major major uh, courage there like that's got to be terrifying especially when you're heading towards a scarab <laughs> like i'd jump straight out of there and i'd uh <laughs> i'd let the fall damage do its thing and yeah we also have little propulsions coming out of these turbines everything is just beautiful man like it's all really well put together and yeah the system the actual internal cogs that make this able to be moved is really nice it's just basic maneuverability on the battlefield but it works so well this hornet man let me tell you it's got to be the nicest hornet of all time i'm a big fan of the nmpd hornet and the lights and sounds hornet does also deserve an honorable mention not the original gray hornet though that thing is awful like if you sneeze in the same room as that gray hornet it will collapse i do not like it but this thing is so compact everything is smoothed off you know like there's a few things i love with halo mega one is odsts check one is smoothed off pieces check this thing is very smooth and the third is good printed detailing and i guess metallic green can be added on there as well this ticks all the boxes for me honestly the odst is a great touch as well just a real bonus and it's got to be in my top five odsts at this point and a sergeant stacker as well just showing that mega really do want to push the boat out in making sure we get all of the fan favorite characters in some way shape or form over the years but my advice mega when you make your next halo combat evolved figure just call it chips do bow like just do it just 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 patent it it's fine let me know what you think of this set guys have you managed to get this yet it seems to be really well distributed like you can get it on amazon us right now you can get it on target remember if you buy on amazon us you can usually do worldwide shipping this thing seems to be like the new razorback blitz in terms of good distribution i mean it literally is the razorback blitz same price and two characters this has got to be up there as one of my all-time favorite sets, one of my favorite sets this year. And as always, thank you very much for tuning in today and making it to the end of the video. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, guys, and I'm gonna go fly my Hornet around the garden like a happy 10-year-old. <laughs> the ODST Hornet Recon is signing off.